In this video I'm going to introduce you to the VB Express IDE or Integrated Development Environment. The best way to do this I feel is to actually go through the process of creating an application using the IDE. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is create a project. There are multiple ways of doing this but for the benefit of this video I will always choose the most visible way to perform a task. When you get more adept at using the IDE you will find that there are quicker ways of achieving these tasks. So to create a project we click on File and New Project. At this point we choose a template for the project and specify a name for the project. At this stage take care to use the correct template and project name that is specified in the current activity or assignment you are doing. In this case I'm going to choose the MT264 Block 1 Sandpit template and call my project Hello World. Then click OK. At this point the IDE will take a few seconds to create the skeleton application. The next step is to save the project. Choose File and Save All. In this case, I'm going to choose C colon backslash MT264 backslash block1 backslash unit1 as my save location and keep Hello World as my project name. Also make sure that the create directory for solution is unchecked, then click save. The IDE window is made up of various panels and a main window. At the moment the main window is showing the start page which is a portal into the Microsoft Developer Network or MSDN website. It also lists your most recently open projects. To the left of the main window is the toolbox. Now this default defaults to auto hide so you may just see a tab that when you move your mouse over it the toolbox opens up. You may find it useful to turn off auto hide by clicking the icon that looks like a pin. The toolbox is a context sensitive panel that is used primarily when designing the GUI or graphical user interface. To the right of the main window is the solution explorer. This shows the items that make up your project. Below this is the properties panel which we will talk about more later. Now if you find that you have moved some of these panels around, like I'm just doing now, and have generally um, made a bit of a mess of your IDE, then don't panic, you can always get back to the default layout by clicking on Window and Reset Window Layout. Click Yes. And there you go. You have no, now gone back to the default layout for the IDE. Now it's time to start designing our GUI. To display the only form in our project, Sandpit form, simply double click the form in the Solution Explorer. This opens up the form in design mode ready for us to start adding controls like buttons and text boxes. To do this, move over to the toolbox, click on the button move over the form and I click on the form. That will place a button on the form. Now we can change the text that's showing on the button by clicking on the button to make sure it is selected and then go across to the properties panel, find the text property and edit the text property to say hello and this will change the text that's showing on the button. We can also change the name of the button. To do this again make sure that the button is selected by left clicking on it. Move up to the top of the properties panel and where it says name We can change the name of the button to Hello Button. 
Now to create some code that is run when the button is clicked, we can simply double click the hello button and this will create a skeleton event handler for the click event of the hello button. And in here if we just type in console dot right line hello world and at this point we can simply choose debug and start debugging and here you see our form running with the hello button now if we click on the hello button it doesn't look like anything's happened because we are not showing the output window which the console.write line will write out to. But if we go to view, other windows, and output, we can see that in our output window, we have a hello world in there. If we go back to our form, we can click it again and we see that it writes out hello world to our output window. To stop debugging, we can simply go to debug and stop debugging. And that will close our running program.